Presenting for the first time in radio, the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon and Dale Arden. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, now printed in 32 tabloid-sized pages, each page in full four colors, is distributed everywhere as a part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Racing high above the earth, comfortably seated in a giant airliner, Flash Gordon, internationally famous athlete, looks admiringly across the aisle at Dale Arden, the lovely young companion of his air voyage. The minds of both are intent on the terrible destruction which for many months has been approaching the earth with terrific speed. The new planet hurtling through space directly in the path of the earth. Suddenly there is a violent jar. The plane lurches into a spinning nosedive. Flash Gordon's trained muscles carry him across the aisle to the frightened girl. He gathers her in his arms and leaps free of the falling plane. And pulling the ripcord of his parachute, glides to earth. Don't be frightened, Dale. The plane has crashed, but we're safe. Yes, thanks to you. Hold fast. We're landing now. Careful. Easy. There. There. Are you all right, Dale? Yes. Good, good. Oh, look, Flash. There's a round steel tower. Where can we be? Why, why, that's the laboratory of the great scientist, Dr. Hans Zarka. Why, he's coming this way. I'll call him to help us. I, I hope you'll pardon us for breaking in on you so unceremoniously, Doctor, but you see, we had to bail out. I know you for what you are. Spy. Come to steal my secret. But I have the answer to that. Come with me. Put that gun away, Professor Zarkov. The man is mad, Dale. We'll have to humor him. All right, Professor. All right. We'll come with you. Step down this ladder into this tower. Down, I say. All right. All right. There, now. We are in my rocket ship. And in ten seconds, we will be on our way to the new planet. We will all die. Die for science. <laughs> The doctor is mad. This rocket ship is rushing away from the Earth with the speed of light, right into the path of the new planet. Hold tight, Dale. We'll escape somewhere. To the new planet. <laughs> to the new planet. We three will save the Earth. Dr. Zarka, there's still time to bring your rocket ship out of the path of the new planet. No, no, no. <laughs> well, what, what will you gain for science if we're all killed in the crash? I know who you are, Flash Gordon, the world's greatest athlete. But your train strength will not save you. Only my mind, the mind of Zarkov, the scientist, can save you. Can save any human soul upon the earth. Be careful, Flash. He's reaching for the controls. Stand aside, Dr. Zarkov. <laughs> Feel it. The gravitation pull of the new planet. We crash in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> The rocket ship hits the planet. Dr. Zarkov and Dale are thrown from the rocket ship unconscious. Flash is thrown clear of the wreckage and lands on his feet uninjured. He rushes to the side of the unconscious girl, picks her up, and starts to carry her toward the distant towers of a city on this weird new planet. Suddenly, strange soldiers armed with ray guns appear, and capturing Dale and Flash, force them to come with them to the throne room of Ming the Merciless, Emperor of Mongo and Supreme Ruler of the Universe. It means most merciless majesty of Mongo, supreme ruler of all the peoples of the new planet, thy slave to Lucy. Slaves, sing for what the earth people. Thy slaves obey, O Ming the merciless. Take your hands off me. I'm no slave. I'll meet your emperor as a free man and an equal. <laughs> so, Earthman, you are the free man and my equal. Throw him to the red monkey man in the arena. I would be forced with this free man, my equal. There is thy freedom, earth man. Now you go into the arena to meet the red monkey men of Mongo. Hey, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. Don't worry, Dale. Emperor Ming, I'll show you that I, a free man from the earth, am more than a match for your brainless red monkey men. Flash reaches the bottom step leading to the arena. He leaps and swings at the nearest red monkey man. 
Then, grasping the crawling man-beast under the armpit, Flash whirls him around like a flail, knocking the others in all directions. Emperor Ming, fearing that his monkey men will all be killed, orders his soldiers to destroy Flash with their ray guns. In the midst of the confusion, Princess Aura, the beautiful young daughter of Emperor Ming, calls to Flash. Quick, brave man, this way, here to my balcony. Flash leaps to the royal balcony and joins the gorgeously jeweled princess, who commands the slaves to keep back, while she takes Flash through a secret door and into a passage leading to a private elevator. The two get in, and Aura closes the door and presses the switch. Who are you, beautiful maiden? I am the Princess Aura, only daughter of Ming the Merciless. Princess, I owe you my life. You are brave and handsome and strong. You must not die so young. I have never seen anyone like you, as man. Where I come from, Princess, there are many stronger men and better looking. But tell me, Princess, where are you taking me? I am taking you to the private landing frames of my own rocket car. There you will be safe. We have arrived, just man. Get in this rocket car. No one can harm you here. But, Princess, hurry, I don't... Hurry, hurry. The Princess Aura, how am I to rescue the Earth girls? They are off. That is why you are in my private rocket car, Earth man. Why, what do you mean? They are then shall never be rescued by you. The princess, As I... for you, Earthman, you shall love me or die. Meanwhile, back in the palace, Emperor Ming is talking with Dale Arden. Your companion Flash Gordon has escaped, but not for long. My men will soon capture him. What are you going to do with me, Emperor Ming? You are pleasing to me, Earth Woman. You will become my wife. Never! I don't love you! We men of Mongo have no human traits, no love, no mercy, no kindness. Whether you love me or not makes no difference. You shall become my wife as soon as the ceremony can be arranged. Your oh, Majesty, look into the space of wrath. Our city is being bombarded by the space gyros of the Lion Men. The Lion Men order the entire space fleet to the attack. In the terrific battle which takes place between Emperor Ming's space fleet and the gyros of the Lion Men, the attacking gyros are driven off. The rocket ship in which Flash Gordon has been held captive is destroyed, and Flash is thrown to the ground unconscious. He opens his eyes to find himself staring up into the great bearded face of Thun, Prince of the Lion Men. Thun lets his great sword fall as he sees Flash Gordon's white skin. Who art thou, white-skinned youth? Speak. Answer me before I cleave thy white body in pieces. Art thou a new kind of soldier of Ming the Merciless? I am the sworn enemy of that fiend Emperor Ming of Mongo. He has captured a girl who is from the earth like myself. I live only to rescue her. An earth man, thou sayest. Yes. And an enemy of Ming the Merciless. That's right. Tell me, are you friend or enemy? I am Thun, Prince of the Lion Men. Hereditary enemies of the men of Mongo. If thou wilt accept me as thy friend, Earthman, I will gladly join thee against Ming the Merciless. Here's my hand on his entrance soon. Good. What is thy name, Earthman? I am called Flash Gordon upon the earth, Your Highness. Call me soon, friend, and I will call thee Flash. Friend soon, you know how we can gain admittance to the palace that we may rescue Dale Arden? Come. I will show thee a secret way into the palace. Ah, good. The Emperor Ming is away pursuing my gyro fleet. We may be able to rescue the Earth Girl before Ming returns. <laughs> Flash Gordon and his powerful newfound friend go first to the space gyro of Prince Thune, and there they gaze intently into the thought projector, in which they not only see Dale Arden a captive, but they also have revealed to them a secret way reading, leading to the throne room of the palace. The secret passage is known as the Tunnel of Terror because of the deadly beast 
which lie within its gloomy walls. Fighting each step of the way, Flash and his new friend, Prince Soon, finally find themselves within the palace. A door with great steel bolts stands before them. Quick, Soon. This door must lead directly into the center of the palace. From my memory of the palace, I should say that beyond this door is the great throne room of the Emperor Ming. All right, then. Here we go. statue before us is the god of death, which stands at the top of the altar steps, directly behind the throne of the emperor. Listen. Do what, man? By the great god Tao, it is a royal wedding procession. Ming the Merciless is taking another bride. Soon. I'm going to look around the idol. To look around the idol means death. Thou must not. Come back. Come back, Flash. Soon. Save yourself. I'm going to the rescue of my earth friend, Dale Arden. He's being forced into a marriage with Ming the Merciless. Prince Soon of the Lion Men does not save himself at the expense of his friend. If thou must die, I will die fighting with thee. Dale. This way, Dale. 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 This way, Dale! Down this passage, Earth Maiden, as fast as thou canst run! Quick, Soon, they're swarming up the other side. Help me topple the idol over on them. Now, one, two, three! With a grinding crash, the giant idol topples over on the onrushing soldiers of Ming the Merciless, killing those in front and throwing into confusion the whole company. Flash Gordon and Prince Thune, with Dale between them, dash into the secret passage beneath the idol. The way becomes steeper. They slip and fall down, down, a hundred feet or more into a whirling underground river. They're swept along down a raging current and over a falls into a lake. With the powerful strokes of the champion swimmer, Flash sets out for the shore, towing Dale by the hair. They reach the shore, and as Flash reaches down to drag Dale to safety, she screams and disappears beneath the calm surface of the lake, clutched in two powerful green scaly arms. With no thought of his own safety, Flash Gordon dives to Dale's rescue and finds an adventure stranger than any which has gone before. Follow the thrilling adventures of Flash Gordon and Dale Arden each Sunday in your Hearst Sunday newspaper. You will find them graphically portrayed in full-colored pictures in the Comic Weekly. Only in the Comic Weekly can you follow the escapades of the Captain Yammer Kid, those perennial rascals, or thrill to the adventures of King of the Royal Mountain. Only in the Comic Weekly can you enjoy the good, clean fun of bringing up father, Tilly the Toiler, Way Out West, The Little King, or in the language of his hillbilly friends, go clean catawampus over the bodacious goings-on of Barney Google, your old friend Skippy, and all his little pals are waiting for you in the Comic Weekly, along with Pinky, Molly, and Pat in their great adventure story, Radio Patrol. Then there is Ace Drummond, the Demon Aviator, Johnny Round the World, and many, many others. Be sure you get this big 32-page all-color Comic Weekly supplement with your copy of next Sunday's Hearst newspaper. And don't fail to listen again next week to the continuation of the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon and Dale Arden. Thank you.